गाइज इस स्वाति फॉर इंडिया हाइक्स इन टू डेज वीडियो आई गोइंग टू शो यू समथिंग दैट्स गोइंग टू मेक यू अ लॉट मोर एफिशिएंट ट्रैकर आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू 13 थिंग्स दैट मस्ट ऑलवेज बी एक्सेसिबल इजीली व्हाइल योर ट्रैकिंग एंड एट योर कैंप साइट नाउ व्हेन आई से इजीली एक्सेसिबल आई मीन दैट इट शुड बी अवेलेबल एट ओपनिंग वन फ्लैप और मे बी जस्ट अनजिपिंग वन जिप it should be that easy to get these things out you'll notice that it's these same things that you're using on all your treks whether in the himalayas any long trek it's these 13 things so let's see what they are i'm swati from india hikes and you're watching trek with swati The first thing that you need most easily accessible is your rain wear. In the mountains you never know when it's going to rain and it could rain very heavily within a minute. So you need to be able to fish out your rain wear very quickly. It could be a poncho, it could be rain jacket, rain pants, anything. So where I usually keep my rain wear, my poncho is in the side uh, pocket of my backpack. It's just one zip away. I need to open it, take it out, put it on and continue walking. So there's hardly any time lost and everything's protected from the rain. So that's the main thing your rain wear and then you move on to the second thing which is a rain cover for your backpack. Now most good backpacks come with a rain cover. If you don't have one please buy one. Don't go on a Himalayan trek without one. Uh where to keep it? Almost all backpacks have a slot especially for the rain cover at the bottom on the underside of the backpack. That's the most convenient spot to keep your rain cover. But if you don't have that you could also keep it along with your poncho uh, on this side compartment. The good thing is that all of these things are extremely compressible items so you can really compress them into something tiny and put them into one compartment and you'll have easy access to them. The third thing that you need most easily accessible is one warm layer. I cannot tell you how important this access is. You'll start using it right from the time you're driving to the base camp when the air gets chilly. On the trek uh, most of us trek with just one t-shirt but when you take longer rest stops there's usually cold breeze and your body is sweaty at that time you're not supposed to let cold breeze hit your body because it could make you fall sick so it's always wise to put on one warm layer you'll see a lot of footballers also doing this they play a big sweaty game and then they go on and wear a jacket immediately it's just to avoid that cold winds hitting their body so always have this one uh, warm layer available all the time i usually use a fleece or a padded jacket and i keep it right on top of everything in the main compartment so i just have to open my backpack and take out my jacket put it on and i can also put it back in after use so that's one warm layer keep it easily accessible The next thing that you must always have easily accessible is your water bottle. Now this is a no-brainer but I thought I'll put it in for good measure. Um you know backpacks usually have pouches for water bottles so keep two water bottles on either side to access easily. If you don't have this uh, pouch maybe you could use a hydration bladder because that is always easily accessible right around your face. Uh, I've seen a lot of trekkers use it. They also tend to sip more water so that should always be accessible. The next thing you should have accessible is your headlamp. Now on the trail you don't tend to use this much but when you reach the campsite you feel the need for it when it is dark already so you don't want to be looking for something when it's already dark. Ideally you should know where exactly it is so you can just put your hand and get it out. So what I do is I keep it in the top flap there's just one zip on the top flap here. So I usually keep my headlamp right there so I put my hand in and get it out easily. The next thing you must have easily accessible is of course your medical kit. Now your medical kit uh, I wouldn't recommend carrying a very elaborate one if you're trekking with India hikes uh, if you're trekking with someone else make sure you have all the high altitude medicine required but this must be easily accessible for emergency situations and you must know exactly where you've kept it inside your backpack. So I usually keep it um, in the top flap inside my backpack there's another flap So it's just one uh, zip away inside my backpack and uh, it's a pretty small medical kit that I always carry so it's pretty compact and neatly sitting in there. So make sure you know where your medical kit is that's the most important thing. The next thing is your toilet roll. I see that a lot of trekkers keep their toilet roll along with their toilet kit. Now that's not required because you're going to be using your toilet roll a lot more often than the rest of your toilet kit. So I keep my toilet roll in the side compartment of my backpack. So if I have to run to the loo, I know where to look for it. The next thing you must have easily accessible is your cap. Now for the life of me, I can't remember a time when I 
I'm capless on a trek. During the day, I'm always wearing a sun cap. In the evenings, I'm always wearing a woolen cap. So I want both of these easily accessible so that I don't waste too much time shifting and taking it out. So I also keep these two in the top flap of my backpack along with the headlamp. Uh, there are a couple of other things I keep in there. Let's move on to those. So the next thing I keep in there is a light pair of gloves. Now I'm particularly more susceptible to cold than most other people so I carry two pairs of gloves. First one is a light fleece glove so that is what I keep easily accessible. It's what I put on early in the evening so that I still have flexibility to use my hand but my hands are still warm. I keep the synthetic gloves for later because those restrict my movement quite a bit. So four things in the top, my headlamp, my woolen cap, sun cap and my light gloves. The next thing, a modern day requirement is your phone or camera. Uh, I know that everybody uses their phone or camera to capture pictures or maybe to use their GPS uh, file on the phone. So a lot of trekkers keep their phones in their hand and walk around, not a good idea at all. Just on my last trek, one of my uh, trekkers dropped his phone and it cracked. So always keep it somewhere easily accessible. I usually keep it in my pan pocket which has a zip. So I'm always keeping it zipped and if I need it, I take it out, I put it back in. You could also use a camera bag. If you're using a camera, you can uh, wear it as a like a sling bag and keep your camera accessible in front of you all the time. You could keep your phone, your power bank, a lot of things in that camera bag too. So keep your phone and camera accessible, not in your hands, but somewhere zippered and safe so that you can take it out when you need it and put it back in. The next thing is pocket snacks. Now, a lot of times I used to um, take pocket snacks, uh, except I never called it pocket snacks. I never kept it in my pocket. I used to keep it in a small Ziploc bag inside my backpack and I would come back all the way to Bangalore and find it unused, not eaten at all. Now, this changed when we introduced pocket snacks at India Hikes, where we give trekkers some small snacks, dry snacks to keep in their pockets directly. And you can keep fishing it out, eating it as you're trekking. So I think I always have pocket snacks easily accessible. They're usually dry fruits or peanuts or uh, chana, something like that, always in my pocket. So I can take it out and eat it whenever. The next thing you must have easily accessible is a handkerchief. I cannot recollect a trek where I haven't used a handkerchief. I see a lot of trekkers using tissues but avoid it because you're going to be producing a lot of waste. Use a hanky instead. Now in the mountains your nose tends to run a lot because it's cold and your uh, nose is quite uh, sensitive so your uh, nose actually produces a lot of mucus to keep it moist and healthy and you'll find that your nose is running all the time. So use a handkerchief to keep your nose dry and clean but don't wipe it too hard because your skin will come off. So take care of yourself, keep a hanky. I always keep it in my pan pocket or in my jacket pocket, whatever is more easily accessible. And the last thing that you need always easily accessible is Vaseline or lip balm or petroleum jelly. Now your, te your skin tends to dry up a lot in the mountains. So usually you'll see this happening towards the end of your trek after all the moisture has been absorbed by the air and you're left with absolutely no moisture on your skin. So your lips, your nose, your skin, everything tends to dry up. So one small petroleum jelly or uh, Vaseline in your pocket will do. You can use this on your lips, your face, your hands, everywhere. And you can buy a really tiny one. It'll last you many, many tricks. So don't buy a big one. So those are the 13 things that you need always easily accessible either in your backpack or on your uh, jacket, pant pocket, anything. Um, I would say invest in pants and jackets which have zips. Uh, I don't ever buy pants or jackets without zips because it keeps a lot of things safe. Uh, your backpacks have a lot of compartments usually so make use of them to keep things easily accessible. If you think I've missed out on any of the things that you might keep accessible, drop in a comment below. I'd love to know. If you have any questions, you can drop in a comment as well. You could also write to me on trekwithswati at indiahikes.com. We're also on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. So make sure you follow us there. We keep sharing lots of information about trails, trekking tips, and we always do trek talk, even here on our YouTube channel. So if you want to see more uh, videos like this, make sure you hit subscribe and also that notification button next to the subscribe button. I'm Swati from India Hikes and you're watching Trek with Swati.